what's going on? Movie Mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Woodgarden with our Let's Play Season 6 episode number... Check the description. I honestly lose track. I'm going to stop introing the episode numbers because uh, I forget every time I start talking about it. Uh, today is all about finishing off this tip of the island. And we're going to do a bit of tourism specialization here, I think. The hotels and restaurants and stuff and then on the tip of the island where it gets real noisy we can do um, a little area for leisure but I realize I also forgot something I think I said a couple episodes ago that we we're gonna take a look at the city at night so we're gonna turn the day night cycle on and hopefully before it gets dark we can uh, whip this area up into shape we don't have a lot of demand for commercial unfortunately but let's really rethink kind of what's happening on screen right here. Everything to the tip of the island from here. So this side of the park is all residents, but it's one little thin row of houses, and I don't know that it's the best look. So let's see what we can do here to kind of open up this side of the map a little bit. We don't have to build on every square inch. Sometimes I feel like I do, though. So let's just let's just take everything out over here. Let's let's start from scratch and rethink everything that's that's happening north of the park. Now we do have a metro station in there. I'd like to keep that road consistent, and it does kind of lead well from this area into here. And we probably don't need this road. So we could do something like that. Let's get freeform road out we'll come out more than we need to and can we hook it in all the way over here that's obnoxious uh -huh. let's not do that let's see let's let's just go with straight roads and we will what is that it's already a four-way intersection so maybe we could improve that a bit it's a little funny how all those streets meet up so again let me before I get ahead of myself, let's rethink all this. We're going to move a lot of people out. We've got industrial demand, so if we put some office space back in here, that should fill right back up. You know, one thing that we could have done, and I didn't even think about it at the time, was put the cemeteries actually in Central Park. Will it fit right there? I think that it will. So let's do this. Health care. Death care. That, that actually works pretty well. What do we think about that? I kind of like that. I think that works. And then that way we can free this block up over here. We've got another cemetery down this way. So we'll see. We'll see what happens there. Um, maybe what we could do is empty this one the good old-fashioned way uh, with a sinkhole. I wonder what a one will do. Will it really focus in on that area and just take out the, uh, the object itself and not worry about breaking pipes or things around it? Hopefully. I'm, I'm second-guessing this now. Because I kind of liked how that was filled in with trees before. Let's see if we can move this before any bodies come in. I'm kind of... You know what? I'm regretting sinkholing that cemetery, but we can empty it and then rebuild it. I take it back. So let's, let's leave Central Park untouched. Uh, let's pause because I forgot to be zone over here. So let's do that. We'll have a, a bit of a buffer between our central park and everything else around it. Uh, yeah, I forgot to dezone all this. That's great. So let's do that. We're going to have to find some soil, it just occurred to me, too, because 
if I remember, I think my I think my soil is empty or, or close to it. So let's see. Let's delete all of this. Huh. Do we delete that? Yeah, heck. Maybe we have some offices over there. I got... I gotta stop. I gotta stop with it. These people are all rebuilding. We've got D zone, right? <laughs> okay, yeah, that's all D zone. So they're gonna finish building and then they'll then they'll move themselves out. So let's see what we can do here. We don't need all these streets intersecting at the same spot. So let's do that for now. Uh, let's. We've got the money. I'm just going to demolish these two uh, recycling plants so that we can sort all this out. I think it may be worth moving that metro station. Um, maybe putting that in the park might be kind of cool. Although it's very close to another station I think that we had down here. All right, let's stop speculating about what to do and do it. Um, let's get some soil. We need some soil. So we can borrow some from the the riverbed here. Trim that back just a little bit. Where else can we get it? We could lower this island a little bit. Bit by bit, lower that plateau down. So what if we go down to like there and flatten this all out? We should be able to get plenty of soil that way. And then over here, we can start to slope it back up as it comes off the map. But that could be the new height for our plateau over here. And that's going to give us a ton of soil, hopefully enough to do what we want to do over there. But we shall see. So, we'll get rid of these power lines. And let's go back into our level tool and bring this out, extend it all. Something like that. Okay, and let's see what we can do here. Let's let's try and make this all work. We'll bring this road down, because this is the one that the metro is connected to. And we'll come right out to the edge of the zone. Maybe right to there. Let's see how it will let me connect these roads. It won't connect them just the way I want, apparently. So we'll bring it just outside the zone and then do something like that. A little bit of a bend right before the end of the street. And this can be a pretty dense area. The nightclubs and stuff. Let's maybe do something like that. And then can we get this connected back across? Okay, I guess it's, it's going to put the nodes there anyways, so... Um, I'm not really worried about lane changes over here, so it doesn't matter too, too much. So before we get ahead of ourselves, before I accidentally hit play, let's create a couple districts here. So, let's separate that all together. So we will dezone all that. I probably could have just 
Well, I guess I had to rename it anyways. I had to create a separate zone. Um, we'll go with the small tool here. I'm basically going to do all this. As a separate district. And that one we can stamp the leisure specialization on. And then over here, we're gonna have a little pocket of tourism. So let's dezone this. Come all the way up the street. Got all that separated out now. Now to do and make sure that this stays IT, I'm going to trace this block one more time. Nope. I'm going to start from here. Trace around this way. So now with the small tool, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to trace this street one more time, but from this district, just to make sure that these buildings on the very end don't get switched out and they maintain their uh, their IT status. So Butler District was our original district. Linden Heights, we can make the tourism focus. And then over here, we're going to make this leisure focused. Now there are a couple of uniques that I think would fit well in this area. So if we go through the landmarks tab, there is a cinema in here that we can grab. And this could kind of be on the edge of our tourism and uh, leisure district. I'm gonna put that right there, the Rondo Cinema. Be also nice to get the London Eye here way on the end of this strip. I think that would look kind of cool out on the end of the island, especially when it becomes nighttime. So we've got the cinema in. Let's also move the police and fire stations down here a little bit. It shouldn't affect our coverage area that much, but should give us some room that this is really kind of focused in on entertainment. Not sure how that one little office is still there, but... So if we jump back into our landmarks, another one that I want to put in here is the theater. Not the Theater of Wonders unique, but the landmark. And maybe we'll throw it kind of here on this section, if it'll let me snap it again. Did a minute ago. There we go. So we've got the theater here, the cinema. I think that's a pretty good start. We'll put the casino and the luxury hotel off on its own over here where we just borrowed that soil from. But let's go ahead and throw it on three times speed. And we'll hopefully let this fill in. Like I said before, the, uh, the commercial demand is not so great right now. But hopefully by the time night hits our city, Where can we bring power? Won't be too disruptive to the zoning. And I'm just going to bring this down here just in case anybody moves out. Geologists predict that a sinkhole could strike at any minute. Oh, there's our Residents sinkhole. Should take precautionary measures. There comes our sinkhole. I forgot about that. So we'll be able to empty the cemetery and actually rotate it around where it's facing the park. I think that makes more sense. A sinkhole has occurred somewhere in the city. Stay out of harm's way and contact authorities with any information. So let's break out our landscaping tool. 
It'll fix the mess I just made, which is a really tiny sinkhole, but that's good to know. A one-size sinkhole should minimize any potential impact on damaging anything around it. And didn't even hurt any pipes or anything, so we're good there. Oh. I probably want to connect this street through, huh? That would probably make sense. Uh, I think I disconnected that with the intention of uh, curving that in a little different, but we're I'm fine with that. We can do that. You know what else helps, too? If I actually zone. I'm waiting, waiting for stuff to move in here. Um, it's going to take it a while if I don't zone it. Somebody was shaking their fist at the screen, I'm sure, and it was appropriate and deserved. So uh, we're not going to zone right there on the park. We will zone in all this other stuff, though. And again, the stuff closest to the water's edge here is going to be all leisure, the really noisy stuff. And over here, I'll start to spill into tourism. So with all of that zoned off now, we've got a nice little tourism pocket right here and a leisure pocket right here which is actually a little bit on the large side for a leisure zone but I think we can deal with it maybe we can undo this and just continue office zoning down there that should be okay so let's leave it on three times speed let's watch our sunset and hopefully our zone start to fill in but I think that's kind of a nice way to round off this tip of the island with something a little bit different here a little bit of nightlife, a little bit of hotels and tourist attractions. So I will let this time lapse and uh, we'll see where we are and uh, take a look at the city at night. But there we go. So it's starting to fill in nicely. We've got Central Park, which is pretty nicely lit up. And, and these extra footpaths that we threw in for the park gates um, have lights in them as well. And they blend in very well with the Central Park object. So this, uh, this part of the city is coming in pretty nicely. I like it. I like it. So we'll keep doing that, tuning and tweaking little sections of the city in each episode. The bikes have lights. I don't think those are uh, regulation. We may have to start uh, parking a police officer at the either end of the uh, footbridge here and ticketing people for not having lights on their bikes. Oh, I take it back. Never mind. They do. They do. They do. Okay. Uh, we'll find some other way to ticket them. Maybe we can uh, maybe we can put a park gate on either side, charge them ten bucks to come across the river. So there you have it, though. That is a uh, a little update to the tip of the island leisure and uh, tourism specializations on those zones well, I can see how much darker the, the green cities buildings are huh especially when they're contrasted right next to the uh, the office buildings the IT clusters it's quite the juxtaposition I wish we could change the color of these lights but it, it's almost so lit up around here thanks to all the buildings that it almost doesn't matter but it would be nice if we had a, a whiter light 
It doesn't have to be so yellow. I don't know why that is in the four lane avenues, but two lane streets, the six lane streets, they all have pretty much white lights. And you can see that, there you go, there's that contrast between the two. How different the color is between the four lane roads and pretty much everything else. The highways are kind of in the middle of those two. A little bit off-white, but something you can do with the Network Skins mod on PC. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Like I said, I want to keep cranking out dailies, but uh, schedules are going to be a little crazy over the next uh, couple weeks. So uh, in an effort to do that, we're going to bite off little bite-sized chunks of the city and just tune and tweak and improve and, uh, and update it, and we'll see kind of what's happening. So we've got a lot of residential and industrial demand. Maybe we can tackle one of those in the next episode or use that as an opportunity to downgrade some of this to lower res on the outskirts of the city and just have, you know, a couple blocks on either side, Linden Square basically right there as the denser downtown. And we can start to spin up some smaller residential areas outside of that. But either way, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Likes, comments, and shares all help the channel a lot and are greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe and consider hitting the bell to get notifications for new updates in this and other series. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. And until the next one, this is Blue the Mouse, signing off.